normally a, a camp is about getting hard days back to back and with the riders there's not competition between the riders but you do encourage one another to to keep training hard so it certainly uh, gives you that motivation day in day out i don't think i feel a lot of pressure to be honest i think more just learning from the other guys really like they haven't made a big deal of the fact that i'm the youngest other than sometimes i like, oh, you know you're going pretty well for a young team. obviously roger has a lot to um, impart on everyone really he's had so much experience but i think there's everyone has something to offer really like even the ex inexperienced guys like tristan and, and joe in terms of racing you know hanging around with them they're so enthusiastic about everything that you kind of realize how you kind of forget how to be excited about getting a new pair of glasses or like just being away with the team and getting a training camp that's paid for and stuff so hanging around with those guys is quite it's a bit of a breath of fresh air in a way. Mainly I think I want to just learn as much as I can from the older guys and stuff I'm not really going to put too much pressure on myself with results and that because I think you know I could end up just being disappointed so I think just trying to do the best that I can in the races that I ride and learn as much as I can from the team. I think we've got a few hilly days coming up which are going to be really hard and uh, we won't obviously we won't be fully recovered from the last four days with just one day off so I think the last six hour day will be a real leg tester especially as it's, it's the last day so there's nothing to sort of save your legs for so we'll go hard on pretty much all the time. Once you get that training camp under your belt, um, you know it's the season's on. You'll be racing in a couple of weeks' time, so it's part of what you use, you know, to, to get yourself ready for the season. Because at some point you're going to have to start putting the numbers on and uh, and racing. So it's it's like being on a race, um, you know, at the hotel and the Sam and stuff working on the bike. So it's it's like a you know, pre-season preparation. Everyone's been sort of swapping between the um, version 5 Volair bikes that they've got and then the Genesis Zero bikes that they've got, just really getting comfortable on, on either or. Today was one of the, the longer days, so a six hour ride, and then we'll tr sort of try and keep stopping to a minimum, just uh, top up water bottles and guys can grab a bit more food. We'll be back now for about four o'clock and then they'll all have massage before dinner at say half seven eight o'clock. Uh, last year uh, um, I improved a lot and, uh, and uh, so did the team so it's quite good to carry that momentum together. I feel like the you know my, my improvements and the team's improvements uh, are at one with one another so um, it was quite an obvious choice for me to stay here and, and continue that momentum really. There's just so many res resources available to us from the, the company, Madison, everything, the equipment, the support from Kelly and Dom and, and Roger as well, you know, so when you've got all that provided to you, all the equipment, the clothing, everything, um, it comes back to what you're doing as far as preparing for the races. I think there's a good vibe, um, I got asked this question earlier and it's, you know, it's, it's like a catalyst in that everyone keeps pushing themselves within the group, so it's, it's great, you know, there's, um, there's a lot of strength and depth. There's always someone to push you or motivate you or whatever it may be. There's always someone there that if you need it, it's, uh, and you can see why why Rogers kind of picked picked out and handpicked the guys that he uh, he really wanted for the team. Mm -hmm.